Hey up everyone, welcome to the Ruby Lee History Channel. Uh, it's a very special video and night tonight. Tonight is the 2022 Ruby League YouTuber end of season awards. This is the third year in a row that I've done these awards, started back in 2020. It's a great night to commemorate all the Ruby League YouTubers out there. It's an idea that I had about five or six years ago. And uh, once I started YouTube, got to know everyone and then started doing videos myself and got involved in the community. I started doing these awards as a way to acknowledge everyone and to uh, get everyone to vote on who they thought performed the best throughout the year in any given category. So tonight is a, a very special night on the Ruby League YouTuber calendar. And uh, there's a, quite a few awards up for grabs this year. And there's been a lot of people that have voted, so it'll be interesting to see who wins it tonight. But I've got the results in front of me, and we're going to go through each category one by one and declare the winner for 2022. With these awards as well, I thought I'd just make a disclaimer. There might be some people out there that go, oh, this would be league history. He only gives awards to his mates or people that he knows. He only gives out awards to them and doesn't acknowledge everyone. But I do acknowledge everyone when it comes to these awards all the awards that you see tonight were put out to public vote there was a preliminary round where i listed about 10 to 20 people in each category and then i took it down to the final five who got the most votes and then from there i got them to do another vote the public and a winner was decided from there so just in case anyone out there says i only give awards to people i know or me it's a man, that's simply not true. These awards are voted by the public. So the first award tonight, the 2022 Ruby League YouTuber End of Season Awards, is the Podcast of the Year. And the title speaks for itself. It's given to the show or podcast, which is the best of 2022. And there was quite a few podcasts to pick from in the preliminary rounds. It got down to the final five. And the winner of the 2022 podcast of the year goes to the Ruby League Breakdown podcast. They have won their third straight podcast award in a row. There were 74 votes in total for this award. Uh, the Ruby League Bra Breakdown podcast got 36% of the vote. Coming in, in second was a View from the North podcast with 32%. And then the Fully Loaded podcast, 15%. Virgo and the Freak got 9% and Wobble and Jaw come in 5th with 7%. The second award of the night goes to the Match Day Vlogger of the Year. So this is another award which is pretty self-explanatory. And there's been some great vlogs this year. There's been plenty of vloggers out there. I probably count about maybe 15 to 20 that I had in the preliminary rounds of this vote. It got down to the final five. And there were 181 votes for this award in total. So the 2022 Ruby League Vlogger of the Year goes to Enetine House. Enetine House has won his third straight Vlogger of the Year award. He got 52% of the votes. TGC Sports got 20%. Pro Enzo Vids got 10%. Nick from Australia got 10% and Cody Games PlayStation got 7%. But I will tell you about maybe about a week ago, maybe more than that, TGC Sports was actually in the lead in this uh, award. So I think for some time there, I think maybe Enetine House was a bit nervous, but he come home strong in the end and he's won his third street Vlogger of the Year award. The third award of the night is for the best rugby league live streamer. This could be given to someone that does the best game live streams. It could be someone that does reviews and all that type of caper. And there was quite a lot of live streamers to pick from. There was quite a lot in the preliminary rounds, but it got down to the final five. There were 90 votes in total. And in 2022, the best rugby league live streamer award goes to Nick from Australia. Nick from Australia is the 2022 Rugby League Live Streamer of the Year winner. He got 38% of the vote. Sam Revel got 30% of the vote. National Sports Loaded, 13%. Warriors NRL Fanatics, 12%. And what really surprised me, 
Z Tank 99 only 7% of the votes. Considering that Z Tank 99 pretty much live streams, I think, more than most of the YouTubers that um, finished above him. So, very um, surprising results there. But Nick from Australia is the 2022 Rugby League live streamer of the year winner. Into the fourth award of the night. And this one is for the best video series. So, this is, as I said, another one that's pretty self explanatory. It can be for a, a YouTuber that does a, a series of videos that are, all, are based on one topic. And there was quite a few to choose from yet again. But it got down to the final votes. And there were 99 votes for this particular award. And this one was actually quite close. So, the winner of the 2022 Best Series of the, of the Year award. Goes to Pro Enzo Vids. Pro Enzo Vids is the winner of the 2022 Best Video Series Award. He won the award by doing his NRL debutants. He got 45% of the vote. Coming in in second was Odd One Out for his Rugby League Live for Redcliffe uh, Career Mode Story uh, Video Series. He was actually in front in the votes for quite some time, but Pro Wenzel Vids come home strong. And coming in in third were Nick from Australia with his Wonder One series where he interviewed other rugby league YouTubers. So um, Pro Wenzel Vids is the 2022 winner of the best video series. Into the fifth award of the night, and this one is for the best logo of the year. So another award that's pretty self explanatory what it's for. Um, there was quite a lot of people to nominate. There was about maybe 20 to 25 people that were in the original uh, preliminary rounds for the nominations. It got down to the final five and there were 100 votes for this particular award. And the winner of the 2022 Best Logo of the Year goes to Hold the Ball. Hold the Ball is the 2022 Best Rugby League lo Logo winner. He got 56% of the vote. CT Dingo got 27%. Just Rugby League got 8%. Last year's winner, Fergal and the Freak, got 6%. And Zed Tank 99 for his Soviet communist style logo got 3% of the vote. So um, Hold the Ball is the 2022 winner for the best logo. Into the sixth award of the night, this one is for the best intro of the year. And this is for the Rugby League YouTubers that have an intro at the start of their video. It can be a long one, it can be a short one. Uh, there were 113 votes for this award. So quite a few people voted. And there were quite a few intros to go through and it got down the preliminary rounds like the other ones. And uh, on this occasion, there were some very close results. And the winner of the 2022 Best Intro of the Year goes to CT Dingo. CT Dingo is the winner of the 2022 Best Intro of the Year. He got 29% of the vote. Sam Revel got 25%. Pro Wenzel Vids in third with 20%. And then Nick from Australia with 19% of the vote. And coming in fifth was National Sports Loaded. Uh, I thought at some stage, uh, I thought at one stage, sorry, that Sam Revel was going to run away with it because he was the winner last year. With his train total intro. But CT Dingo got enough votes to win. With his sort of uh, Dingo flashing up on the screen with, with uh, fancy colours and all that. Uh, National Sports Loaded was actually the most voted in the preliminary rounds. With his uh, screen glitch intro I, I, I guess you could call it. But in, at the end of the day CT Dingo is the winner this year. The next award of the night is for the best rugby league live for YouTuber. This can be someone that either does series of rugby league live for videos, someone that plays for fun, someone that um, does it week in, week out. And uh, there were quite a few people nominated for this as well because it is a popular game to play. And uh, there were 121 votes for this particular award. And uh, there was quite, th this one actually surprised me a bit. So the winner of the, the best rugby league live for YouTuber goes to Simulation Rugby League Premiership. Simulation Rugby League Premiership got 40% of the vote. Uh, odd one out 
got 17%. Cody Games PlayStation got 17%. Paddy G, aka Patrick Gainer, got 13%. And Nick from Australia got 12%. So well done to Simulation Rugby League Premiership for winning the Rugby League Live for YouTuber of the Year. And now we go into the most watched video of the year award. This is a, a video which is done by a Rugby League YouTuber and there's there's a couple of criteria for this so it can't be um, a video that, which contains Fox League or Channel 9 footage so you get people that upload videos of, of actual game footage and they get hundreds of thousands of views and things like that those are not counted um, them type of compilation videos like uh, predicted team lists and all that which normally get lots of views that one's not excluded uh, that one's excluded, sorry. Uh, NRL tipping videos that normally spike up, they're not included either. This one has to be a completely original thought or idea that someone's come up with or um, it could be a story that, that, that they're reporting on. So I went through several YouTube channels. I reckon I probably went through about 30 to 40 YouTube channels looking for the most watched video that that particular YouTuber had done for the year. And the one that I found, which was 100% pure, no game footage. Now, it was just an original idea, was, um, and the award goes to William Eisenhuth for his, he did a video on Brett Finch and potentially going to jail for 15 years. And he did a story on that and he uh, spoke for about four or five minutes about uh, Brett Finch particularly, uh, potentially, going to jail for uh, for 15 year and that video got 45,000 views 45,000 so uh, William Eisenhuth is the winner of the 2022 most watched video the next award goes to the longest video of the year done by a rugby league YouTuber so I think the 2020 winner were National Sports Loading last year were Jai's NRL stuff and the winner of the 2022 Longest video of the year goes to Sam Revel. Sam Revel is the winner of the 2022 Longest Video of the Year Award. His video um, about the Lismore Floods and raising money for Nick for Australia. And um, he did this continuous live stream. And it went for 9 hours, 5 minutes and 15 seconds. So... Uh, last year's winner, Jai NRL Stuff, I think his video went for 4 hours and 36 minutes or something like that. Uh, National, uh, Sam Rebels went for double that and some more. So Sam Revel is the winner of the 2022 Longest Video of the Year Award. And now we go to the polar opposite. We go to the shortest video of the year award. And um, looking through some of the channels, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that do some very short videos. Especially the younger demographic, Bosque, Joey, um, Evil Lemon, people like that. They, they love to do them short videos. But I looked all over YouTube and there's one video that I found which uh, won the award. And the, the winner this year for the shortest video of the year award goes to Isaac Marsh for his um, NRL Finals Week 3 tipping video. It went for five seconds. Yes, five seconds. So, Isaac Marsh, you are the winner of the 2022 shortest video of the year award. <laughs> Sorry, I just broke character there. And now, another award that I've done over the last two years, and this will be the third year, is the quietest YouTuber of the year. So, this, this goes to a YouTuber who, uh, for whatever reason, they don't post many videos or none at all. And uh, I think... The inaugural winner were always Brisbane Broncos. Last year were the Greasy Gamer. And this year, the award goes to the NRL Punners Weekly Digest. He's posted no videos this year. Zero. Zilch. Nout. Um, and you wouldn't believe it. He's actually gained subscribers by not posting any videos. So he was on about a 1,000 subscribers last year. This year, he's gained 1,000 and I think 90 subscribers. He's, he's gone past 2,000 and he, has, he hasn't done a single video. And um, I have spoken to him and he says, 
I still want to keep the channel going, but I'm going through some personal stuff at the moment, blah, blah, blah. So that's fair enough. But to get um, over a thousand subscribers for the year without doing a single video was very impressive. So uh, well done the NRL Punners Weekly Digest. Uh, you are the winner of the quietest YouTuber of the year award. And now we move into two awards where these are ones that I picked myself personally. Um, and it's been something that I've started since I've done these awards. The first one is for the rising YouTuber of the year. So this is someone that's just come out, just come on the scene, and uh, they their channel has to have been started less than twelve months ago, and um, it's just for someone that puts out really good content. They're gaining subscribers. It looks like they're going to go places, and they're going to be um, on YouTube for years to come. So the winner of the 2022 Rugby League YouTuber Rising Star Award goes to William Eisenhuth. Um, he is the winner of the 2022 Rugby League YouTuber Rising Star Award. Um, most of you probably wouldn't have heard of William Eisenhuth, but he's someone that I've been following. As I just mentioned before, he, he got 45,000 views for his Brett Finch video. He only started his channel, I think, about two or three months back and he's already got nearly 400 sus subscribers so um it's a really good effort from william eisenhuth and he, his videos are not flashy or not like that he just kind of just sits in front of a brick wall with a with an iphone like me and just talks about ruby league and that so um i think that william eisenhuth uh, in, the, in the future would definitely go places on on uh, on this platform so well done to William Eisenhuth, and he's the 2022 Rugby League YouTuber um, Rising Star of the Year. And the next and final award goes to the most improved Rugby League YouTuber of the Year. So this is someone that has been on the platform for a while now, could be over a year, could be five, ten year. And um, when I factor in this award, I, I look at subscribers and how people are engaging and how they're doing as a channel. And um, I was very close to awarding it to one person this year, but then over the last couple of months, this particular YouTuber has exploded. Let's just put it that way. And the 2022 Rugby League YouTuber Most Improved um, Channel of the Year goes to Hold the Ball. Hold the Ball is the winner of the Most Improved Rugby League YouTube Channel of the Year award. Um. Hold the ball, I think, at the start of the year, we're on about maybe 400 subscribers, if that, maybe 500. And over the course of this year, uh, they have gone through two really big growth spates. So a couple of months ago, they got up to about 1,400 subscribers. And then things went a little bit quiet, but then they've come back and over the last uh, two weeks, They've gained about 1,000 subscribers just talking about the, the 2021 Rugby League World Cup. So I think um, Hold the Ball is definitely a deserved winner of the 2022 Rugby League YouTuber Most Improved Award. And um, I think it won't be too long before it hits 3,000 subscribers. So that concludes the 2022 Rugby League YouTuber End of Season Awards. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's not the most flashiest and the most brilliant video in the world, but I think um, sometimes it's just the thought that counts and it's just good for, I think, everyone to acknowledge all the good work that people do throughout the year on YouTube when it comes to Rugby League. And uh, I'll continue to do these awards. They'll be coming out next year. And maybe for some of you, it might be uh, motivation to uh, see yourself up in lights there on this channel when it comes to the end of next year and potentially you could be winning one of these awards. So thanks to everyone for tuning in. Um, I'll be coming out with more videos very shortly. I'll be covering select games from the Rugby League World Cup starting tomorrow with England against France. If you haven't watched me vlog that I did when I went to St. James Park last week against Toto Toa Samoa, Sorry, I should say. Um, go and check that out. And also, I'll be doing the View from the North podcast with the uh, Just Rugby League. 
And I'll be going to the Riverside Stadium in the Bowie next Sunday to watch Tonga against Cook Islands. So stay tuned for that vlog. So this has been Ruby League History. Thanks for tuning in to this video. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, tatty bye for now.